God says, are you weary? Do you carry a heavy burden? Come to me. I will refresh your life. I am your oasis. Matthew eleven twenty eight. God is replenishing your roots because of your gratitude. Matthew eleven twenty five. Father, thank you for you are Lord, the supreme ruler over heaven and earth. And you have hidden the great revelation of your authority from those who are proud and think that they are wise and unveiling it instead to little children. Yes, Father, you've chosen this gracious plan to extend your kingdom. You have entrusted me with all that you are and all that you have. No one fully and intimately knows the Son except for the Father. And no one fully and intimately knows the Father except for the Son. No one knows you better than God. No one knows your heart better than God knows your heart. But the Son is able to unveil the Father to anyone who chooses. So if they choose to receive the Father through you, that is what they choose to do and they will receive. Simply join your life with mine is what God is saying. Learn my ways and you'll discover that I'm gentle, humble, and easy to please. You will find refreshment and rest in me, which is peace, you guys. For all that I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. Because you are surrendering, okay, to the air of heaven in earth okay to the mind okay to what you speak and i looked up the word oasis for i am your oasis a fertile spot in a desert where water is found and not a lot of people stumble upon that that's why you're chosen that's why you are unique okay something that you don't always find and that's why God is replenishing you and replenishing you and covering you. Okay? Because it is your time to sprout. From seed to sprout, you're growing into a beautiful being. Replenish, refresh. Okay? Like it says in John 4, 13 to 14, when Jesus was with the Samaritan woman, Jesus said, everyone who drinks this water will, will be thirsty again when it comes to Jacob's well. When he said there on Jacob's well, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. And I actually want to read John 4. And I'm going to start um, on verse 10 when he's talking to the Samaritan woman. And, and Jesus was telling her, if only you knew I am who I am and the gift that God wants to give to you through me. Okay, you'll be like, you'll be asking me to give you a drink. You know, the Samaritan woman was surprised that Jesus was asking her because no one would, would speak to her because she was seen as an outcast. But at least she told the truth. And, and Jesus can respect that from you, okay? All right? And that's why Jesus said, if you drink from my well, you're going to have eternal life and you will thirst no more. And he asked her to go get her husband. And she was like, I'm not married. And, you know, Jesus was a prophet because she's like, oh, you a prophet. You know my whole script. He's like, you've been married several times. So some of you guys have been married several times or you had um, situationships. Okay, as a Samaritan woman, you know, is kind of known for because he said, now you're staying with a man who is not your husband. Okay, which is being dependent on this water. Okay, and um, I believe, um, you know, this is this is bringing me back to um, um, a message that I heard from um, Sarah Jakes, I believe, you know, you know, God has a funny way of bringing these same messages back. And it's beautiful. Okay, um, 
but she was talking about this the same way and, and it gave me a better understanding of you know who the Samaritan woman was and and how you know God works through anyone who is genuine okay look period okay I don't know why this is so blurry they're just hating on the word of God <laughs> But believe me, dear woman, the time has come when you will worship the Father neither on mountain nor Jerusalem, but in your heart. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you worship the Father because the Father lives within. Okay, your people don't really know the one they worship, but we Jews worship out of our experience, right? For it is from Jews that salvation is available. From now on, worshiping the Father will not, will not matter uh, when it comes to the place, but within the right heart for God is a spirit and he longs to have sincere worshipers. And that's why God is replenishing your roots because you are sincere in your worship to Jesus Christ who adores him in the realm of the spirit and in the realm of truth. Right. And so the Samaritan woman was confused, of course, by a lot of, a lot of people were confused by Jesus's parables because he was before his time and a lot of us who are chosen are before their time a lot of people don't understand where you're coming from and they try to attack what they don't understand okay um people of this world so um just bear with with god because your service is not in vain and god is saying jesus is saying in this in this scripture in John chapter four, you don't have to wait any longer. The anointed one is here speaking with you through you. I am the one you're looking for. Okay. So you could have found a shepherd, a leader that, um, that God has brought you to, to help you understand the good news. Okay. Come and meet a man at the well. Oh yeah. So this is when the Samaritan woman goes out and tells everyone about Jesus. Okay. And, um, and, and this is why, you know, Jesus bless her with this um, everlasting life, okay? Just knowing who he who was and, and understanding who she is as a person. And she is no different than anyone else, especially when it comes to her heart and especially when it comes to her truth. And that is why God is replenishing your roots, okay? Do not worry. Don't be weary, no longer carry these burdens come to christ let christ replenish and refresh your life and with that being said until next time through christ we unite stay aligned with divine minds